everyone! Welcome to Catalan Tutorial! Today, we're going to walk you through how to use Catalan Recorder. It's a lightweight yet powerful web extension with the ability to record and playback and export the script into various scripting languages. More specifically, we'll demonstrate the following capability directly on Chrome. First, is automate basic workflow with record and playback. Second, is advanced test execution with data-driven tests. And finally, visualize the test result with Catalan Test Op, our forefront test orchestration platform. Let's get started! Before you start, first you have got to install the extension on your web. It's pretty simple. You can either access your Chrome store through chrome.google.com slash webstore, or you can go through catalan.com slash catalan recorder IDE like shown here. Click that button and Catalan Recorder is installed in your browser. To access Catalan Recorder, click on the puzzle icon on the right corner, then click on the Catalan Recorder icon. And by default, the screen will appear. To begin, click on the record buttons on the top menu and every interaction you make on the website will be recorded by Catalan Recorder. So let's say I'm looking for a one-month vacation spot for myself. So I'll pick the location, dates, and vacation for one. And these are some places that Airbnb gives me. Now to stop the recording, click on the puzzle icon, open Catalan Recorder, and click on Stop. Right-click on the new test case. You can modify newly created test cases, add new one, delete the test case, or play the test case again. Here I'll rename it, and then I'll click on the play button to play back the test case. So you can see, my actions are perfectly recorded, and every action of the flow on the screen are in greens means that all of these steps pass. You can also see the execution log underneath here. And this successful test case concludes the basic demonstration of a record and playback. But what if you have a thousands of similar test cases to record with different data input? This is where Catalan Record Advanced Function Data-Driven Testing comes into play. Just like it names, Data-Driven Tests is using the same test case from multiple databases, hence saving time in creating and maintaining the test in the long run. So let's say I'm a developer at Airbnb and I just deploy some new changes for the search feature. Therefore, I want to test to see if that feature functioned correctly with different city as variable. So let's start another Catalan Recorder test case on Airbnb. As a sample for this test case, I'll search for New York and Airbnb takes me to the result page. Now I'll stop the recording and play back the test case just to make sure it passes. It's all green, so we're good for now. To continue my test cases with other city, this is where I create my data-driven test script with the main variable is city in the United States. To create a data-driven script, first we must have a text file. You can use a text editor for this. In this example, I'll create a file from Notepad. Give your data variable a name. In this case, I'll name mine city. And then type the name of the city I want to test right next to it. When I'm done, I'll save my file with a JSON tag. Do note that your file has to have either a JSON or a CSV extension in order for Catalan Recorder to read. All I have to do now is add the top command telling Catalan Recorder to read the text file I just created. The command to use here is load variable. The target is the file you just created, data.json. On the value input, change it to the name of the variable in the JSON file. Like in this example, New York will be replaced with city. If you got it right, where the value used to be should now be replaced with the name of the variable. Lastly, don't forget to add the file you just created into Catalan Recorder. In this case, it's a previous JSON file. Now let's play back the test to see if the data-driven script in action. Similarly, 
You can use Catalan Recorder to test any number of city that you wish. You can also access the Variable tab to see the final input value. In this case, it's the last city, Atlanta. If you want to search for a thousand other cities, simply access back to your text file and add in the new city that you want, and that will save you a tons of time. Now that you've done all the tested, what if you want to pull some advanced insight for your test for in-depth review? Catalan Recorder has the ability to integrate with Catalan Test Op, a forefront AI-backed analytics and test orchestration platform. To start the integration, thus you must have to have a Catalan account connected. If you haven't had an account, go to our website and create one for free to access this feature. Since I already have an account, I'll go ahead and migrate all the test information I have here into Catalan Test Op. On the upper tab, click on the Report button, select the project where you want to keep your analytics, click Upload. When the upload is finished, Catalan Test Op will automatically pop up in the next browser. Here you have access to all the analytics and information of all the test run you uploaded, including this most recent one and all the previous one. Furthermore, you also have a line chart showing the duration of each test run, the status of each test run, like do the last test case pass more or fail more as you move forward, giving you a holistic trend picture of all of your testing process. And that's the end of our tutorial. If you want to hear more from us, don't forget to give us a subscribe, like, and comment the kind of content that you want. See you at our next video.